Hi all, just wanted to give a quick update on my tank project. I'll have a more extensive update soon. Um, there was quite a while I wasn't doing any work on it. I was injured with a hip injury and just wasn't really able to do much. Didn't sleep well, so. Plus I ended up on another project for a while, um, another quadcopter, uh, 3D printed quadcopter. But I finally got back and I've completed the whole track system. I'm just printing, you can hear it right now, probably. I'm just printing some uh, temporary mounts so I can mount some electronics to it and uh, go out and do a road test with it. The rods here, the brown ones, are just uh, wooden dowels for now. Uh, just temp, temporary rods, so that I can do some testing with it and make sure I like the width and everything like that. I haven't uh, actually screwed in the middle mounts yet because I'm not entirely sure about them uh, I don't know if I want to go with two or one so they're just there uh, but everything else is done and you can see that I did a major update to it since my last uh, video uh, my last video was called the completed left track uh, and it had three suspension uh, setups in it but I've upgraded it I've made it longer uh, so I can make it wider so now there's four uh, I've got some stronger springs on there, uh, they're working well, I've got the whole floating idler working well, um, maybe by the end of today I'll actually uh, be able to get out with some electronics on it and run it, uh, maybe tomorrow we'll find out, but, so that's the beast, uh, it's 90, the track end to end is 90 centimeters, uh, outside width is 70 centimeters, I don't have the covers on the gearboxes yet because I'm going to have to take all this apart um, and then once I put it back together then I'll grease the gears with molybdenum grease and rebuild it all and it uh, should be awesome. So I'm sticking with the gears. I took another try, one of the reasons why I was delayed. Uh, I spent like another two to three weeks redesigning the entire gearbox to use belts and I came up with some really great systems. I mean, the belts, 3D printed gears, or 3D printed pulleys and belts, just work awesome. Like, this is an excellent belt in the pulleys. The only thing is, I was going to end up having to do a massive redesign on everything, including the mounts and the distances, and I figured, you know what, hell with it. So, one of the things I think that made the gears so loud previously was the fact that they were printed with, I think, 35% infill. So, you know, there's a lot of hollowness in there, so there's a lot of echoing and whatnot. So I've reprinted all of the gears, and they're solid. All of the gears are now solid. 100% uh, infill. I'm hoping that reduces the noise of the gears a bit. Um, I'm sure it'll do it somewhat, but there's still going to be loudness. So anyways, that's the track system. We'll put a foot in there for uh, perspective. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's big. Not going to be using this in any office, that's for sure. It's just too big. Uh, but that's okay. So, another few days, and I'll uh, have the temporary electronics on there and get another video up doing a full review of my system so far. The next step after I do that will be to start working on the main body and turret. And you know what? I don't know how long that's going to take. So, don't hold your breath for, the, for that bit. Um, just check back whenever and see what's up. Okay y'all, thanks for watching, and this is uh, my 100 PSI Nerf Tank <laughs> project. Alright, bye now.